Now people love these sand gobies, like these goldhead sleeper goby. But the problem with these fish is that they sift through the sand, hoping to extract nutrients out of the sand. But with a small aquarium like this one, it's inevitable that there's just not going to be enough organisms and nutrients in the sand for them to feed on. So they do emaciate over time. They get very skinny, and then they die off. Now the only hope you've got um, to keep this guy well fed is to feed enough. So high quality foods like Spectrum and the amount that you'd need to feed to keep this guy well fed means that your water quality is going to suffer. You're going to end up with crazy phosphate levels and nitrate levels and so forth. So they're wonderful for keeping your sand clean but um, it is a bit of a death wish for the poor thing. In general if you're unlucky they last three months it's quite normal for them to last six months and then nine or twelve months is considered pretty good so the advantage is your sand gets to stay clean for that time the disadvantage is the poor fella is probably not going to survive that well so in feed 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 and the bigger the tank the less problem this is in a small aquarium, this problem is large. So if you have not too many sand gobies in a very large aquarium, and there is enough sand to hold enough nutrients to keep this thing alive, and some species are better than others, chocolate gobies, they're quite good, whereas um, gold heads are pretty bad. And it's important not to have too many sand sifters. Even if you have a large tank, it's probably better just to have one pair. If you put more, then they're going to have more competition for the limited amount of food that's going to be available in the tank.